Hi, it's Bruce, and welcome again to my Rocky Mountain Lab here in Blackhawk, Colorado. Today we're looking at an HP 8601A. It's a RF signal generator sweeper for use in the AM radio and FM radio bands. It covers 0 0.1 uh, uh, megahertz, 100 kilohertz, up to 110 megahertz, and it does so with both internal AM and FM modulation available via this switch. Um, we can work in continuous wave mode by moving this switch all the way to the left, which we're doing right now, and we're producing a 500 kilohertz signal. Let's see if we can get that thing out of the way, which we can see on the oscilloscope screen there, and we are reading 499.78, and we can adjust that just a little if we wish. adjusting the fine control down here. There we are, 500 kilohertz. We're reading 500 on the dial and our fine control is just slightly up a little bit. Um, you change your overall frequency with the crank here, that's your course control, and you'll see the digital dial. Like we can, let's say we take this thing down that should be about a hundred kilohertz and uh, we see that we are reading oh, between 80 so there's a hundred and I could adjust the uh, the fine control again to get us closer And then as we turn the crank forward, 500, 700, 800, 900, this would be uh, a megahertz. And let's go ahead and center this uh, fine control. There we go, there's the center mark. And uh, so here you see we've dialed in one megahertz and adjusted the fine control and we got uh, oh that's one million point zero three eight so here you see we've dialed in one megahertz that would be one point zero and uh, we are reading one megahertz point zero on the uh, frequency counter and we got a nice clean waveform and uh, as we roll forward we should hit 11 before we switch into the next range. All right, there would be 11. And we see we've got 11 megahertz on the uh, frequency counter. And 11 megahertz showing nice clean sweep on the uh, scope. Then, if that range is not sufficient, and we want to go, this would be 110 megahertz, and we see that we have reached 110 megahertz on the frequency counter. The scope is currently unreadable, so I've got to change my horizontal. And there we go. Get a nice clean sweep at 110 megahertz. So we're, uh, we're doing well at producing continuous waves. Then if we want to sweep this thing, let's, uh, let's go back down to 11 megahertz. And we'll adjust this again. All right. And we're going to uh, cause this to sweep symmetrically about 10 megahertz. You can see the waveform compressing there, and if we watched our uh, meter, you'd see the meter change. Um, and if we go full, and we see the sweep start at basically zero and, and then sweep up to the maximum. And sort of the same thing up here. You see it start and then rather quickly sweep up. Okay, and um, let's 
Let's get back down to continuous. Then the other feature, let's see, we have uh, sweep mode, we're in slow mode then. We could have went fast, we could have went manual. Um, triggering, uh, we're on free right now, free running. Um, if I was to put myself into the AM modulated mode, then I begin to see the modulation on the waveform up there. You can see the ends of the waveform are modulated, and I can... Here I am at uh, about 101 megahertz, and I'm dialed into about 101 megahertz on this uh, FM radio. And I'm, you can hear that signal. If I turn the crank, or if I move the, uh, the fine control, you're going to hear it go out. And if I move it back the other way again... There she is, and we'll go out the other way. Nasty. So the FM is working. No modulation. FM. This is AM, but uh, AM on the FM isn't going to read. We'd have to go back down into the AM dial. We can do that, too. Okay, so here we can hear the um, one megahertz tone, uh, one kilohertz modulated tone coming over one megahertz carrier wave. Um, on the AM radio, we're dialed into about uh, a megahertz here, a little bit over, and uh, and we can hear it as I as I dial the. You hear it go out come back in so we're definitely putting it out same thing over here obviously if I uh, change the, the fine tune or the crude tune course you can hear it come in and out as well so and all I've done is uh, run a little gator clip in over near the antenna and we're picking it up and then back to no modulation and uh, we can still hear it being dialed in you just don't hear a tone same thing would be on the FM and then if I wanted I could put this thing into sweep mode and you can hear that thump thump And we're sweeping across a, uh, a portion and it's sweeping in and out. And we could change the sweep rate. This is on the AM at the current moment. And then if we change to FM and then change our frequency okay so we're dialed to about 103 megahertz we've got one kilohertz of FM modulation going on we've dialed into 103 on the dial of the FM unit and we're getting the the results the signal well, that's tuned in approximately centered and if I switch now to a symmetric sweep we can hear and see the sweeping from below and then above. So the FM sweep is working. And then we go back to continuous. And then we turn the modulation off, which is quite annoying. We don't have it now. So anyway, the unit is working fine. Uh, we have an output level vernier here, calibrated. We go from a plus 20 and we have a continuous uh, fine control so we're getting approximately um, oh at uh, 103 megahertz we're getting approximately 2.4 volts out and then as we uh, step her down let me go to um, plus 10 with 
we're on the one volt scale, the upper one, we're actually exceeding a volt now. And there's a volt. And then we go to the zero, which is the three volt scale. So this would be uh, 0.3 volts. Minus 10. Um, we're on the one scale and we're reading um, 0.1 volts. And then minus 20. We're on the three volt scale again. We got 30 millivolts. Uh, minus 10 or minus 30. Uh, we're on the top one again and we're reading uh, 10 millivolts. And then you go to minus 40 and you you adjust to 3 millivolts full scale. And you have capability to reduce that to um, essentially um, oh, 0.5 millivolts. So that'd be uh, 500, 500 microvolts, excuse me. And, uh, but at that point, then the, uh, the output vernier locks up. It doesn't want to go lower. So something mechanically inside is preventing it from rotating it. I don't know what it is at the moment. Um, somebody wants to take a look at it, they can, they can uh, either repair the, uh, uh, the switch or replace it. Uh, or you can use an external attenuator. I have an, an external attenuator that would work. Looks something like uh, like one of these controls here. So I can go from 0 to 120 dB of, of difference. Um, so there you have it. It's, uh, it's a fairly hefty unit, but it's in good shape. Seen the front of it already, got a nice working stand. Some more screening underneath there. And then uh, looking at the rear of it, let's go ahead and disconnect it for a moment. Turn this off. And we have some additional controls and inputs and outputs back here. So with that, you'd have to refer to the manual and do a little bit of playing around, but it um, gives you a uh, lot of capability. So there you have it. AM, FM, uh, RF generator, sweep generator, and uh, almost in perfect working condition. Thank you for listening. Good luck.